the biblical meaning of the number 14. What are some attributes of God? He is infinite, orderly, and the creator of all, including scientific laws and numbers. His orderliness is found in all creation. If his orderliness is observable in creation, why should we be surprised to see it in his word? God uses numbers because they are infinite like he is. Think for a moment to the book of Genesis, where it says we are made in his image. Is it just a coincidence that numbers are found in our genetic makeup? Our bodies contain two numbers found in our chromosomes, the numbers 23 and 46. How do numbers and the word of God we call the Bible come together? Because God chose specific numbers to convey a message. The King James Bible is made from over 5,700 manuscripts written by various authors who lived at different ages. Through this preservation, the numbers that God has chosen to use have remained constant. In this study, one number we will look at is the number 14, used in the Bible for deliverance and salvation. The first Passover was on the 14th day, the same day the destroyer came and killed all firstborn of both man and beast. Three groups of 14 are found in Matthew chapter 1, verse 17, listing the genealogy of Jesus Christ. In Acts chapter 27, verses 33 and 34, Paul is stranded on a ship. On the 14th day, he gives the men meat to eat and promises that they would all escape alive. In the book of Galatians, Paul makes a journey after 14 years to Bethlehem with Barnabas and Titus to communicate the gospel of salvation and deliverance he had been preaching. Solomon's temple is found in the 14th book of the Bible. In 2 Corinthians chapter 11 verses 26 to 27 mentions 14 things Paul went through yet was delivered from. Paul and Silius were prisoners when an earthquake shook the jail and the doors and bands opened. The keeper of the prison, thinking the prisoners had escaped, was about to kill himself when Paul cried out they were still there. Because of these two men's actions, the jailer asked what he must do to be saved. The answer they gave contains 14 words. And they said, Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved and thy house. In 2 Timothy, we read that Paul is encouraging Timothy. There are two things to look at in this passage of Scripture. First, it contains 14 words where Timothy and all believers receive strength, which is through Jesus Christ. Second, the phrase, be strong, is found in 14 books of the Bible. In the book of John, chapter 10, Jesus states he is the door and the good shepherd. Consider this passage of Scripture containing 14 words. But he that entereth in by the door is the shepherd of the sheep. Who do you call those who have rejected the salvation and deliverance of God? Stiff-necked, stiff neck, hardened their neck, along with neck stiff, are found together 14 times and in 14 verses of the Bible. There is a consistency in God's word when it comes to numbers, just as there is a consistency to the laws of science. Why? Because we serve a God who is orderly. Laws discovered on earth govern all the universe and have worked from the beginning. Not only that, but as scientists record and observe nature, it can be documented using numbers along with being measured and computed using math. Physicist Paul C. Davies comments, to be a scientist, you had to have faith, 
that the universe is governed by dependable, immutable, absolute, universal, mathematical laws of an unspecified origin. You've got to believe that these laws won't fail, that we won't wake up tomorrow to find heat flowing from cold to hot or the speed of light changing by the hour. So why is the universe orderly? There is a clear answer for many physicists, cosmologists, and biologists who laid the foundations of modern science. The answer is that the Creator is rational, loving, reveals Himself to humankind, and upholds the universe by His power.